Good morning, boys and girls. Have you ever been really afraid of something or someone? I know my wife can't stand mouse or lizard or snake. She's really afraid of those things. When I was a kid, on my way to school, there was a house and there was a lady that lived in that house. The minute that she saw me walking by, she will chase me away. And she would do the same when I'm on my way back home. I was really, really afraid of that lady. I never wanted to go to school, but I didn't have a choice. Every day I had to go to school being afraid. And I will come home being really afraid. So being afraid, it's not a very good thing. You see, this book is called Goggles by Isra Jack Keats. Let's find out what makes these children afraid. Do you think they are afraid of goggles? Of course not. It is someone else that they are afraid of. Archie, look what I found. Peter shouted through the pipe, motorcycle goggles. Archie watched Peter through the hole. He listened and smiled. What did uh, Peter find? He found goggles. And that is not what they're afraid of. Peter ran to the hideout and put on the goggles. Aren't they great? He asked. Archie smiled and nodded. Peter said, let's go over to your house and sit on the steps. Archie nodded. They started off. Suddenly, some big boys appeared. Give us those goggles, kid. No, they're mine, Peter said. His dog, Willie, growled. Archie, hold Willie, said Peter. Sure, Peter. Give the goggles to these bigger boys. And if Peter say no, what do you think will happen to Peter, Archie, and Willie, the dog? Peter stuffed the goggle into his pocket and put up his fist. Archie gasped. Peter turned to see if something was wrong. So they were having a fight. Should Peter just give them the goggles and go home without a fight? What if these goggles belong to these bigger boys? Who do you think the goggles belong to? We know Peter found them. What should they do now? The next thing he knew, he was knocked to the ground. Everyone stared at the goggles. So he dropped the goggles. He was knocked to the ground. Are they all going to try to go grab the goggles? Before anyone could move, Willie snatched the goggles and ran through a hole in the fence. The big boys chased after him. Meet you at the hideout, whispered Peter. You go this way, I'll go that way. They won't know where we're going. Willie will find us. That is a smart dog. Willie took the goggles away from those big boys. And uh, Peter and Archie have a hiding place that they will meet later. They have to get away from those big boys. I hope they can get away. Peter raced to the hideout. He sank down as low as he could. Footsteps. The big boys, they follow me. Peter held his breath. That's what we all do, right? When we're really afraid, we try not to breathe. Or if we breathe, we breathe really slowly and quietly. So we don't want 
Anyone else to hear us? Archie! Did they both make it to the hideout? Yes, they did. As you can see, they were both there. What was that? Archie looked through the hole. They heard something. Someone was coming. Do you think it's one of those big boys? Who else knew about this hiding place? It couldn't be one of those big boys, could it? Huh, let's find out who was coming. And there were the big boys, and there was Willie. They could see him. Willie was there. The big boys were there. They better be quiet or they will be found. Archie stared at the pipe. Suddenly he spoke. Here, Willie, throw the pipe fast. Do you think that's what Willie will do? And do you think he still have the goggles? If he doesn't have the goggle anymore, it's no good. Willie, here comes Willie. Peter peeked through the hole. The big boys were coming closer and closer. They all better be quiet. Peter took a deep breath. Then he yelled through the pipe. Willie, meet us at the parking lot. Head for the parking lot, one of the big boys yelled. Let's go. Do you think Peter, Archie, and Willie really are going to the parking lot? Or was that a trick? So the big boys heard that they were going to the parking lot. They all ran to the parking lot. I think that was just a trick. Peter, Archie, and Willie crept out of the hideout. When they reached the fence, they got up and ran. The big boys went the other way and they went the opposite way. I think that that was a smart thing to do. I hope they're going home. Who should keep the goggles? Peter or Archie? Or maybe give it to the dog. Because the dog was the one that took it away from the big boys. They got to Archie's house. Archie laughed and said, We sure fooled them, didn't we? We sure did, said Peter, handing him the goggles. Things look real fine now, Archie said. They sure do, said Peter. That was a scary story. We just cannot imagine what the big boys would do to them if they ever catch them. Maybe they will just take the goggles and leave the boys in the door alone. But maybe not. You never know what people can do, right? So that's why this story is sort of a scary story. Remember that story I told you about me? If someone bigger than you keep chasing you away and you're a little kid, then yeah, you will be scared. Like I was scared. And I know Peter, Archie, and Willie were very, very scared too in this story because those big boys.